Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB School. In this video, we are going to simulate direct power control of PMSM by using SPPWM technique. The same model is available for download in the link given in the description. Uh, if you want, you can uh, download and you can use it for your purpose. So, before getting into the simulation, let us see, let us discuss what is uh, DTC. So, I have typed DTC of PMSM in Google search. I could get few images like this. Um, so one among those images is uh, this one see the DTC has got two loops one is the outer loop and the second one is the inner loop so outer loop is responsible for controlling the speed and the inner loops are responsible for controlling the torque of the machine also the flux of the machine okay so uh, to control the torque we need to give torque reference and to control the flux we need to give uh, flux reference the torque reference is coming from the uh, uh, pay controller which is connected at the outer loop and this becomes the this point becomes the uh, becomes the uh, torque reference and here we are giving flex reference and uh, if you are giving reference we need to compare it with the actual values of uh, uh, flex and torque so to uh, estimate the torque and uh, uh, flex we need to uh, have a estimator and the estimators input are uh, inputs are v alpha v beta i alpha and i beta so that has to be calculated from the line and phase values of the current and voltage and after comparing the flex reference and uh, uh, torque reference with the actual values of torque and flex uh, we need to convert that to alpha and beta frames of voltages so then we are giving uh, giving the uh, alpha reference and beta reference to the uh, svpwm controller so that will be producing pulses and the pulses will be connected to the inverter so now let us get into the simulation part so in the simulation we have uh, a motor a pms motor an inverter and a battery See this battery has uh, has a voltage of uh, 300 volts. Yes, it has got a voltage of 300 volts and the rated capacity of the battery is uh, 100 eh. So let us close this. And uh, uh, we shall see the specifications of the motor and these are the stator uh, phase current phase uh, uh, resistance armature inductance and the flex linkage of pmsm motor and here we have the uh, block which measures the uh, voltage uh, current speed torque and the angle theta and uh, uh, here we have the current reference uh, for the current reference we are giving a step step input and here we have uh, the actual control structure of DTC uh, this is the outer loop and uh, this is the inner loop at the inner loop uh, I mean at the outer loop we are comparing the speed with the actual speed uh, the error is given as input to the PID controller then here we have uh, the torque reference coming out of the PID controller uh, then the torque reference will be compared with the estimated torque. Uh, so the error is again given as input to PID controller and parallelly we are processing the uh, flex values as well. So this is the flex reference and with the flex reference we are comparing the estimated value of flex. Uh, so here we have another one <coughs> PID controller and uh, these two uh, becomes the direct axis voltage and uh, uh, quadrature axis voltage references. And uh, to convert uh, a direct axis and quadrature axis voltages to alpha and beta frames, we are going with part to clock angle transformation. After this transformation, uh, the value is fed as input to SPPWM, and the SPPWM will be uh, producing pulses. So, uh, to calculate the flex and torque, we have torque and flex estimator. For the torque and flux estimator, we need to give 
uh, the voltages and current in terms of alpha and beta frames so uh, we are calculating the alpha and beta frames uh, of voltages from the values of vd and uh, vq and the values of i alpha and i beta are calculated from the values of ibc uh, ibc uh, corresponds to the phase currents ia ib and ic and here we have the compare uh, i mean the uh, calculator which will calculate the values of torque and flux in real time so uh, let us simulate the model the model will be made to run for two seconds and the reference speed will be 750 rpm uh, up to one second and after one second the speed reference speed will be changing to uh, 1500 rpm so let us see that now the model is getting compiled so it is taking a while to get compiled yes see it is getting initialized yes the model has started to run let us see the simulation yes so this is the speed the speed is settling perfectly at uh, 750 rpm initially and uh, as per our uh, speed reference when the speed reaches one second the speed reference will be changing to 1500 rpm and our system will be exactly tracking the reference speed so uh, this blue color line will be settling perfectly at 1500 rpm and here we have the torque and this is the line to line voltage line to line voltage in the sense the voltage which is measured across uh, 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 two phases Yes, as you can see, uh, the speed is reaching perfectly at uh, 1500 rpm. Also, we can see the uh, estimated torque and estimated flux. This is the estimated flux, and this is these are the phase currents. So, there is some uh, distortion happening.